Hey, I'm Blood and good evening, everyone. This is going to be the next hockey video of Winnipeg Jets season preview. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or at the end of the video up above on that easy-to-use widget. The Jets, of course, have nice prospects coming up the pipe as well as you're projected to finish second in the Central by the Hockey News. They have Cole Perfetti, who's a very, very, very skilled, a great creative player that's just going to get better and better at scoring. Philly Hinojola, who's a great puck-moving defenseman. Dilek Sandberg, who's a shutdown defender, as long as an, as well as another shutdown defender center um, at the center position compared to the defensive position of Sandberg, is David Gustafsson, who's a very good four-checker and a very good face-off guy, has the makings to be a fourth-line or maybe third-line Derek Broussard esque face-off guy, but with the defensive prowess more of a Scott Lawton, guys like that that can play pretty well and do pretty well in the bottom six, nothing overly sexy, that's more the Cole Perfettis of the world, and the Chaz Lucius, who's ways away now, only at 18, to can develop to in the future, but I do obviously like this Jets team, what is not to like when you have one of the best goalies, the second best goalie to Andre Vasilevsky in the league, plus they have Dylan DeMello and Logan Stanley as the third-line defense. That's a damn good third-line defense. DeMello seems to keep getting better as he ages. And Logan Stanley's a big boy that can block shots and just seems to be one of those guys that in his – he took him a little bit longer, the 18th pick in 16, but now he, we're really seeing why he was that pick and he's taking stride. Neil Pionk, a great right-handed defenseman, a great value at 5875. Brandon Dillon, one of the more underrated guys in hockey for a while now. Nate Schmidt, the U.S. born, playing up there in Canada now, as well as Neil Pia. Also a good value for him at defense. Had an off year. You look for him to bounce back. I predict him bouncing back. And then they, of course, have Josh Morrissey. So you got a good defense. You got Connor Hellbuck. Eric Comrie is going to back him up this year, which I honestly think is perfectly fine. And then you also have Nathan Belayu if you need anybody. And then you, of course, have um, the aforementioned Dylan Sandberg, who has an injured ankle out for two months. Probably will get AHL time, but probably could get time in the NHL at the for, at the back end excuse me, of this season. And then Brian Little, unfortunately, has had other injuries in his career. He's unfortunately out for the season. Sucks for him. Um, wish him all the best. Hopefully... Uh, he ain't fully done. But I do like this team as a whole. Paul Statsny played great in Winnipeg. You obviously have Kyle Connor. He's a beast. He's a star. Blake Wheeler is still a star, no matter if that he's 35 or not. He's aging gracefully like a fine wine. Andrew Kopp broke out and just keeps getting better. Pierre-Luc Dubois, he's not going to keep doing as crappy as he did. He's definitely going to get going this year. He just had to get integrated into Winnipeg in my eyes. Now it's time to break out and be that PLC. Everybody knows he can be. And then <clears throat> when it comes to other players on this team, they have a good through and through line. If you got Perfetti again, great, creative, overall good playmaker. Christian Veselainen, who's a good power forward and big sized winger. You want to get more out of the 22 year old, but he's still only 22, 6'3, not even in his prime years yet. So you got a lot of time for him to go. Nikolai Ehlers is one of the more underrated players in hockey as far as I'm concerned. Evgeny Sveshnikov, they were able to bring over to one of those wild card guyers that you think maybe you can get something more out of him. Eight points in 21 games last year. Didn't get anything going in Red Wings Nation, but maybe you'll be able to get some things going there down or up there, excuse me, with Winnipeg. And then Riley Nash is one of the more consistent um, bottom six players that you just know what you're going to get from him. Nothing overly impressive, but just puts in a solid hockey game, a high effort game, and just does the little things right. So this team through and through is put together well. I definitely think that second place projection is right on point. Obviously, they could compete for first place. First and second, I think, is going to be pretty damn close when it comes to the Central this year. And I think that's going to be a race that the Jets can compete with. Again, I think you Winnipeg Jets fans are going to have a fantastic season led by your goaltender, Connor Helbach, your defense continuing to improve, and Cole Perfetti, Christian Vissilainen, and the rest of the great youngsters on this team continuing to emerge as well. I hope you all enjoyed the season preview. This has been a Winnipeg Jets season preview. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or on the easy-to-use widget up above. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the hockey season. It is on us right now. Great games yesterday. A couple games starting in about a half hour tonight going through, of course, into your Winnipeg Jets game. Enjoy it and have a great, successful season. Good luck to you, Jets fans. Peace out.